The deepening mystery in the murder case against Olympic hero Oscar Pistorius. Today we saw dueling images, the once beloved athlete in court hearing the charges against him, solemn, sober, while his girlfriend was being buried 700 miles away. Tonight there are two contradictory versions of what happened and ABC's Bazi Kanana Kanani takes us through both. In Riva Steenkamp's hometown, her family gathered to say goodbye. There's only one thing missing, it's Riva. <laughs> Today, Pistorius explained for the first time his version of events on that Valentine's Day. They were both sleeping, Pistorius said, when he woke up and went onto the balcony where he heard a noise in the bathroom. In the pitch dark, he grabbed his gun and rushed into the bathroom, noticed an open window, and thought an intruder was hiding in the toilet room. I knew I had to protect Riva and myself, he wrote. He says he yelled for her to call police, and while still without prosthetics, he fired shots through the locked door, making what he says was a fatal mistake. Forensic experts will be looking at a number of things in this particular case. They will take trajectories to determine the height of the shooter. Ballistics will show if he was firing from a low angle or if he was at that time much taller, wearing his prosthetics. The prosecution believes if they can show he was wearing prosthetics, they can disprove his statement and argue premeditation. Prosecutors believe the couple thought that night. She locked the door for a purpose, said the lead prosecutor, suggesting Stingkamp fled into the bathroom to protect herself. Pistorius disputes this, saying they were deeply in love, and when he realized she was not in bed, he screamed for help, put on his prosthetic legs to kick open the door, only to have her die in his arms. The court will decide within the next couple of days whether to grant bail. There was a dramatic moment in court today when Pistorius started sobbing uncontrollably while recalling that Riva gave him a Valentine's Day gift that night but asked him not to open it until the next day.